Okay, here is a video on how I edit my smoke photography. Um, it seems to work pretty well, get the results that I look for. Um, so first off, in Adobe Bridge, open up the photo which needs to be edited, edited in Camera Raw. Okay, um, first what I do is adjust the clarity which just brings the detail in the smoke out a bit more. Um, you can also mess around with the contrast brightness but I don't think it needs it. Uh, the exposure I could put up a little bit just to bring out more smoke because it seems to be a bit dark in places. Um, yep, that's about it in Camera Raw. Uh, now open it up inside Photoshop. Okay, once it's in Photoshop, the first thing I always do is um, remove all bits of smoke which you can see which look a bit out of place so just with a black paintbrush just colour those in just a bit there a bit up here a few bits here ok alright once that's done next I just duplicate the layer and also create a layer on top of that um, to get the rainbow effect which you see in a lot of the photos is done by the gradient tool um, you select the rainbow preset there um, and just drag it along ok yep that looks fine and then um, there's plenty of ways which you can blend the layers together uh, I normally use overlay seems to work pretty well um, it just brings up a bit of bits here and there but we can go back over that. You can also use stuff like hue which is very very um, vivid but or you can use I think it's subtract which is really really s strong colors but it, you lose a lot of the detail so I stick with overlay um, and just merge this down uh, get that paintbrush and just paint over the bits which have come back through a bit here a few bits up here okay that looks good right um so that's how it's done on these on the black background but to get the white background you just invert it so you've got image adjustment invert uh the thing when you do this though is the top of the incense incense stick if you still got that in uh, inverts as well which doesn't look so good and you can layer mask it out but it takes too long and it's too much effort so I'm just going to crop it crop it out so that will do um, there's still bits of smoke which have come through which I don't want so I just get a white paintbrush to colour these in uh, ok um, so that's how you get the white background you can also use saturation just to uh, mess around with the colors uh, I quite like it like, like that the colors seem a bit strong for me so I'm just gonna bring the saturation down a little bit yep it just brings back more of the detail of the smoke uh, also you can just mess around with the brightness and contrast bringing the contrast down will bring out of the smoke, bring it up, will just ruin the photo. Oh, about there. You can also mess around with the curves, which is just bringing it down. Obviously, darkens the photo, which will bring out more detail. But you also get horrible black spots like here and that. So maybe up a little. Seems to work. Yep. Yeah. And that's about it. There's other things you can mess around with, more detail, like you can use start using the um sponge tool, dodge tool, and burn tool just to bring out highlights and darken bits which are still quite light, which it could be used here, but I'm not gonna go into that. Um that's about it. So yep, that's how you edit smoke photos to get the effect
effects, rainbow effects inside Photoshop.